Hello dear traders, watch the wrap up of the North American session. We have lots of interesting things to tell you. Yesterday, on Monday, the US stock market again closed with significant losses. All major stock indexes lost more than 1% yesterday. The reason for a three-day losing streak is the same. First, the US Fed came up with a very hawkish agenda last week in response to soaring inflation. And second, the market decline occurred ahead of a Christmas and New Year's Eve. Obviously, large market players are rushing to take profit under such market conditions. Notably, the US stock market remains not far away from one-year highs despite a three-day fall. This is especially evident on the weekly and monthly charts. Futures on the S&P 500 climbed to 0.8%. The technical picture predicts a sharp bounce. Now the index uh, uh, that is viewed as a barometer of the stock market's health rose to 4580 points. The index is expected to rebound and then to drop to yesterday's lows. The S&P 500 is likely to trade in a narrow corridor between 4550 and 4600 points. The US dollar is trading in the previous range like the euro dollar pair. Amid the lack of market catalysts, traders are going to clear up sentiment on the US dollar next year. Meanwhile, its index has got trapped in a tight trading range between 96 and 20 and 96 and 90, though it trends to stick to the upper border. Today, the index is holding at about 96 and 40 points. The USD card pair has updated the highest level of the year for the time being. The currency pair is trading extremely high at nearly 1.2925. While the greenback has got stuck sideways, oil prices jumped sharply. Crude oil is set to extend growth in the short term, propelled by the cold winter in the northern hemisphere. So the fact that oil prices are gaining momentum is likely to push the USD card pair downward. In the meantime, the currency pair is fluctuating between 1.2880 and 1.2960. Now let's discuss what is going on in the crypto market. In the early American session, Bitcoin is trading above the level of $48,000. The price is moving according to the uh, wage pattern that we told you about yesterday. However, analysts do not see fundamental reasons for the a surefire bullish trend. It means that Bitcoin will generate another candlestick. Unless the price settles above 50,000, we cannot predict a trend reversal. Hence, be ready for a correctional decline. We suppose that in the coming days the market is going to make erratic moves that uh, are difficult to explain. So it would be a wise decision to play safe. Indeed, the main headwinds of 2021, the coronavirus and high inflation have not to go away. Unfortunately, they are going to reach beyond the outgoing year. The news release is over. Follow our video news on InstaForex TV channel and see you tomorrow.